the brand Circular has seen quite some development. First the owner followed his grandfather but then he broke with the past and now he's presenting very fresh looking watches. And I have the pleasure to show you one of these watches in this video. Let's check it out. Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and our topic today is the Circula Agua Sport GMT, a tough sports watch. And I had the pleasure to meet the owner of the company, Cornelius Huber, here in my hometown for a little chat, a little watch chat. And this was really interesting. He inherited the company from his family, was founded 1955 and he revived it. And his first attempts followed the past. He had a batch of new old stock movements and he equipped fairly conservative looking watches with these movements, sold them, but then he kind of broke with the past and then he started to create really his own watches, his own design. He does the designs himself and this is a bit of an alarm signal for me. I said this before that I'm highly suspicious when when regular people design watches because we, we're not designers. Even if you handle watches, even if you love watches, that doesn't mean that you're a good watch designer. And so I was very critic to be honest and I've seen his drafts, his projects and I've seen the improvement from one step to another. And then was I was sporting the, the Aquasport GMT here and I had to give him, this is a really good looking watch and it looks fresh but not cluttered. I mean, there are so many traps. I know another German watch company, I will not mention them, but they are, they are the owner does everything and the, these watches just look terrible. But here in this case in Circular, it looks, it looks fresh, funky and enjoyable. It's a pleasure on the wrist really. And so it's amazing to see this development from the first watch to to the Jaguar Sport GMT now. But now let's stop that introduction here. Let's go in the light box. Let's check it out. And there we are with our Aqua Sport GMT watch. And as always, let's go over the basic specifications here. We have a case diameter of 40 millimeters. So the length, the lock to lock is 46. Height, including the crystal, of course, is 13.4 and the lug width is 20. We have a sapphire crystal, screw down crown of course, and a water resistance up to 200 meters. The bezel here has 48 clicks, more of that later, and the insert there is a sapphire. Solid case back and inside we find the Solita SW330-2, top grade. So a pretty decent movement with a modern beat rate of 28,800 and a power reserve up to 56 hours and it's regulated in Germany by circular plus minus four seconds a day. So we have very, very good numbers here. The case is pretty 70s. So we have a sort of a retro charm here with this characteristic lug form and it's brushed on the little facet here is high polished. And I said solid case back with a nice engraving there, although it's a bit obvious <laughs> that scuba, scuba diver there. And the watch comes on this rubber strap here and on a metal bracelet, beads of rice bracelet. I will show you that of course too. But now let's speak about the functionality and the, and the overall design. This is a GMT watch, so you have there that GMT hand. You have a date on position six and a rather busy dial with a, a 24 hour scale in the middle, 24 hour scale on the bezel, massive loom. I will show you the uh, loom shot in a minute and it will blow your mind, absolutely. <laughs> but now let's speak briefly about the bezel. 48 clicks, which is handy for the GMT function. With this watch here, you can track, in fact, three different time zones. And so here it is a bit, has sort of a rustic feeling because you only have these 48 clicks. Let's see if it aligns. Yep, it aligns perfectly fine. And you may see you have a night side above now and at the bottom now is the day side. So very easy, very easy orientation. And now let's operate it. I said screw down crown, rather small crown without crown guards, but very easy to handle. And now we have position two for the time. So let's just bring the hands out of the way here. Date has changed, focus please. And with position one, you can manipulate day 
and GMT hand. See that? There is the GMT hand. Jumps in small increments. Normal functionality for a GM, uh, GMT hand. And with the other direction you can manipulate here the day. And this works fine, absolutely. Okay, let's close it again. This was the functionality. Feels good. What caught my attention really is the quality and the attention to detail. I remember when I met Cornelius in a, a personal meeting here in town, we had a bit of a nerd talk about polishing, about these details here, and you really can't feel this. This is sort of perfection because you don't have so many sharp edges. In fact, they are defined, they are clearly there, these edges but they're not scratchy and sharp. This is a really nice polishing job. And also the bezel works nice. It's not too tight, it's not too loose, it just works. So very, very nice, very nice ensemble. And you also find this quality on the dial. The color is nicely chosen, this teal, the sunburst effect, very nice. And when you look closely then you see that in a ring, that 24 hour scale in another depth than the dial, so very, very nice feature here. And also very nice, of course, is this color play between the teal and this orange, these orange accents here, the second hand, the aqua sport, and the frame of the, of the indices. And there it is on my wrist, 17 centimeter wrist, 40 millimeter watch, and I wish I were a bit tanned I think this is an awesome combination when you're a bit tan, but it already looks fresh and interesting, I think. 40 millimeters for me really is the maximum I can wear, but this case makes it relatively easy. And there it is on the metal bracelet. Classic beads of rice metal bracelet with a typical look of the 70s, and I'm a big fan of this bracelet, I must say. But again, I found this combination a bit more funky, but it's, yeah, it's a really nice look. And what we have here is really a quality bracelet with a typical soft feeling of that, that type. Here you see the clasp. Everything works fine without decoration here, just functional, a functional clasp. And there you see it on my wrist, the classic diver look on this bracelet here. Very, very nice. Loom shot. I mean, look at that. And now availability and prices. The watch is available right now. And the price for the rubber version is 1299 And for the steel version, 1399 And we're talking here about euros with VAT. So in case you're outside of Europe, then you pay your around 11.30 US for the rubber version or 12.30 for the metal version. So around 1,100, 1,200 US, depends a bit on your location. All right, and now I'd like to ask you for some advice on my own behalf. Um, it was always my dream um, to make fine stationery in combination with green, this British green leather, so that you have a nice notebook with a really serious looking um, that kind of wallet, and I produced my own one. This is the prototype here, um, with amazing green, hand colored, and there you find a nice notebook inside. And then I realized that this is re this came out beautifully. This came out really nice. And then the idea, of course, was let's make it available for the shop. But then I realized, oh man, this is complicated because every country has own formats and own measurements for their stationery, so enormously complicated. And then I flipped through um, notebooks in shop and then I read, in case of loss, please return to, and then you can write something and as a reward, and then the dollar sign. And then I realized that there are big companies who produce stationery all over the world or for the entire globe. And this is from Moleskin or Moleskin, I think you can pronounce it French or, or English. And these nice notebooks are available all over the globe. And so I thought, that's it. Let's make some nice wallets, these, these leather things for these mold skin, optimized for these mold skin products. So problem absolutely solved. And then I presented this very proud to my wife, little Cobra here, and then push button. And then she said, your push button is on the wrong side, my dear. You did it entirely wrong. Push button must be here. 
that way so that this is the cover this is the front that's the back side but i thought well but now you have this neat surface you have this neat cover here and you don't have the push button you can open it like that and she said this is completely wrong <laughs> it's complete madness and do it the other way and but i like that and i'd like to hear your opinion is this a good idea or is this plain bullshit be critic please be critic i really have to develop something useful for the shop so be critic is this a good idea to present that neat and clean surface here and open it from the back side or is it idiotic is it idiotic at all and please tell me in the comment if you like the idea at all to present this for the shop to make this for the shop as a nice thing you can carry around you can use as a thing that gives your stationery a bit of weight and a bit of a certain look and i'm pretty happy with this racing green and this is really a beautiful color and now as always last part of the video viewers images and let's begin with martin martin from the us and he writes i have another one to show off <laughs> yeah sometimes it's it's a pleasure to show off a bit the photo shows my favorite omega c master the reference 2254.50 from the mid 2000s i like the sword hands and how thin the watch is for a dive model 11.8 millimeters i also like the not so blingy bracelet of this seamaster generation for affordable servicing the watch features the eta 2892a2 chronometer movement in the background you can see a portion of the armstrong redwood forest in northern california it is one of few mostly untouched old growth redwood forests and contains trees that are up to 1400 years old and 100 meters tall yeah i've read that and i've read that they contain basically um the globe's history between their layers and it's very interesting when you have to cut one then you really can find something interesting there so martin from the us thank you very much for another image and let's carry on with dog from the united kingdom and he writes the isle of man tourist trophy races start next saturday so i thought that i would cycle up to the highest crossing section called the bungalow just below the summit of snaefell mountain the motorcycles are doing about 120 miles per hour and accelerating to about 180 miles just after the tram tracks up to the highest point of the course, Halewood Rise. Lend my Oris 766244 to Joey Dunlop, won more trophies than anyone else, but he was not moved. I always look forward to your reviews and that is why I have for the first time uploaded these pictures great job thank you very much this was an interesting insight about that race i googled it and i read the uh, wikipedia article about it and yeah pre pretty interesting a lot to discover so thank you very much guys and if you dear viewer want to participate here casepickwatches at icloud.com is the email address where you can support not support where you can submit some nice and interesting images all right and that's it for this video if you like to stay in contact then please visit me on instagram casebeck underscore tim and now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time